Welcome back to my channel. This is Andy Steve. And it's the first time my channel can hit the subscribe button. So when the comments I drop my next video, you can always watch them. And if you have subscriber, I also say thank you. Okay. So today video is gonna be a thing one video, okay? I'll be teaching you guys how to create a website app and I'll be showing you guys the reasons why you can use a website app to earn from Admo. Okay, so if you have been my follower for some time, I'm sure most of my video, if you follow my video a lot, I'm sure you must have heard me say you can't use a website or a sketchy app to earn from Admo. Okay, so without wasting much of our time today, I'll be showing you, I'll be creating an app first of all, a website app, and after that, I'll be showing you guys how why you can choose a website app to earn from Admo. So I'll be going straight to Admo. You are creating a website app with them, okay? So when I click on create app for free, so if I put an account with them, you have to create an account with them first of all before you can create an account, before you can create an app with them, okay? So you click on project. Okay, so you click on create new project, okay? So let's give the project a name. Let's give it an um, mob app. Okay. So remember this is a website app okay so any app at all you are building through a website where we are going you are logging to a website to create the app it's called a website app okay so this is a website app so what you just need here is just scroll down and come to available components what you need to pick here is just a website here you click on the website click on the button okay let's give the website a name first of all okay um, you know, get that to be Ninja loaded. Let me just use Ninja loaded. Oh, okay, let me use Net Ninja. Okay, so now let's the content. Click on content. So now, what you just need to do here right now is just to get in the URL of whatever site you want to use, okay. So right now, we're making it of net and jump it right here. So let me refresh, let me refresh it. Okay, okay. So this is Net Ninja right here. So let's see. So this is Net Ninja right here. So what I'll just do right here is I'll just copy it. You click on this button sign. Okay, so you can see link copied. So let's go back. Okay, so right now we're going back to Andromo. I'm going to paste in the site URL. Okay. So that's it. So that's, that's how to create a website app. So once you've input the URL like that, what you just did now is we just import, we just input um, Net Ninja into this app. So what this app will be displaying is just same thing as what Net Ninja will be displaying on the site. Okay. So what I'll do next is you click on modernization. Okay. Because you remember you want it to display ads. Okay. So you click on it and then you click on add mob so you click on banner and your interstitial id so right now what i'm going to do is i'll go get my banner interstitial id okay and my add mob url privacy privacy url okay so just i'll be posting the video now once i'm done with it i'll come back okay yeah so i'm back guys so i'm done putting the ads unit into the um into the required um, ads you need to. So what I'll do now is I'll click on save. Okay, so I'll click on build. So I'll go to build the app. Okay, then I'm click on build your app. So let's wait while the app build up finish. Yeah, so the app is done um, building right now. So what I'm going to do now is, okay, I'm just going to click on this. Okay, let me refresh the app. Should be done building by now. Okay, so I'm going to just click on download your app. Okay. So let's just try it's downloading. 
Ik kan hem open. Oké, okay, dus ik klik op open. So let's wait why the apps open. Oké, okay, so this is the app right here. Oké. Okay. Oké, okay, so this is Interstitia ads showing from the app. So let me close it. I don't need to open it. This is nice self clicking video. So I don't need to come up with this. You can have to self click right here. If you want to watch a video, not to self click. I have about two videos. Um, how to self click on, on my list here okay so this is what i'm saying right there so this is the app right here i like can see this is net ninja just displaying right there and this is banner ad showing below the app so let me go to net ninja so you can see what i'm talking about okay so as you can see this is net ninja website right here this is chrome i'm using to request net ninja website and this is the app created integrating um Net Ninja into the app, as you can see, they're just displaying the same thing. As you can see, if you can watch the screen, they're both, since they're both displaying the same thing. Okay, so now this is the first part of the video, how to create a website app. Okay, and now let's go to the second part of the video where I'm going to be showing you guys the reasons why you can't use this kind of app to learn from AdMob. Okay, if you like, create hundred of this type of app. You want to use the from AdMob, okay? There are so many, many rules why you can't use a website app to learn from AdMob. But in today's video, I will be showing you guys just one rule why you can't use a website app to learn from AdMob, okay? So I will going straight to my Gmail, okay? We have, we have, we have a, um, an a disabled account, okay? So let me my screen the job, okay? Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I I want to read some admin policy to you guys. Okay, this is not my own policy. This is from Google, not my. Okay, so as you can see it's Google.com. So let's just try to open. So as you can see, okay. So you go to ad placements. So when you get to ad placements, okay. There are so many reasons why you can't use the website app to from as I said before, but I'll be showing you guys just one reason. On my next video, I'll be coming up with other because I don't want this video to be long at all. So I'll be coming up with I'll be coming up show you guys more reasons why you can't use the website app to learn from AdMob. Okay. So let's see. As you can see, okay, this is apps that offer compensation program. This is not what I want. So this is where I'm coming to directly. So this is as you can see, this is displaying a third party site in your app displaying a third party site in your app this is just one rule you have just broken you creating an app and integrating web net ninja into the app without the permission of the, you know, the website this is just one rule you have just broken like this so let me let me read further okay so as you can see when an app displays someone else's site within a frame this is considered framing content okay Publishers are not permitted to frame third party content and monetize it without permission from the owner of the content. Just like I said before. Okay. We are creating this site now, this app, this app and integrating NetNinja into it without the owner of this website permission. It's called frame um, framing content, as you can see right here. And that's that's a one that's a big strike from Google. So if you like Keep on creating app like this. You won't see any from it because you are still breaking these rules of not displaying a third-party website into your app. Okay, so let me wait for that. If a publisher owns the content, it's being framed in. If a publisher owns the, comp the content and it's being framed in their app and monetized. However, if the framed content is already being monetized by Google Ads, the framed content should not contain any additional code for AdSense or AdMob inside the version of the app so now this is what this second part is saying here okay now as you can see now this app now is displaying both adsense and admob app and that is a very big strike from google i'll be showing you guys on my next video why that's a big strike from google as well. i'll be showing you guys more videos on that so let me just go on this one so this site now this um net right here now is displaying adsense um 
ads okay as you can see these ads here these bait ads they are all adsense ads okay these are adsense ads okay why this one showing below your app is called ad mob ads and is against google rules for the boots for both adsense and ad mob apps to be showing in one site okay for in one app is against google rules. that's on that strike so this is the reason these are the reasons why you can't use a website app to end from ad mob no matter whatever you do Google will keep on banding your app. The only thing you can do is, if you really want to end, if you really want to use someone's website, the reason I'm to share if you if you want to use someone's website on your app, you need to get a permission. There's something called an API. You need to get an API key from the website. Okay, so for instance, I'm a developer and I want to work with Net Ninja. What I have to do is I have to request for a for a developer key from um okay let me go to net for to net ninja how to how to request for develop a uh, developer key from net ninja so that even when i'm when i'm implementing um when i'm implementing their site into my app it won't display all these ads do you understand it won't display all these ads so that was when i can now uh what's the name i can now monetize the app with um with um, what's the name with ad mob and everything will go free okay so these are the reason why you can use a website app to end from ad mob okay so now let me show you guys this app okay so let's come here okay this is um global news app i'm sure you guys probably should be familiar with this app okay this is one of my apps so let's try it loads up okay so this is the news app as you can see it's this is it displaying banner apps below so this is the news app so let me just go to first okay Okay, so as you can see this app right here so let's just try to go i don't know what's on my network like let me just know okay. i think i'll just click on this okay so this is the app displaying banner ads so let me come screen I don't know what's wrong with network like okay so this is this right here so as you can see this app right here now as you can see as you can see this site this app right here now this is um a news app and as you can see this this is not displaying a third party ads in it okay the only ads you are seeing right here is from this app okay which is the banner ad showing below okay so you know, make use of this app now. There is no way you will get banned from Google Ad because this is what we call a standard app. Okay, remember I said if you watch my video a lot, I should say to me from Ad you need a standard functional app, not just an app that you just created because you just feel it's playing ads and you feel you can end it. it. It doesn't work like that. Okay, as you can see, this is a standard app to end from Ad You need a standard functional app. Okay, so I just hope. You guys gain a lot from this video and in my next video i'll be drop i'll be showing you guys more reasons why you can use the website up to inform okay so peace out see you in my next video guys